Hello friends, welcome back to my channel Xgene and Protein X. In this tutorial video, I will continue the discussion about the overlap PCL that I discussed in my previous video that was part 1. And uh, if you haven't watched that video, I will drop the link in the comment box. You can watch that video. So in my previous video, I about the overlap PCR, I discussed about the how to design uh, the primers for um, for the amplification of the different fragment, and I just discussed about the just um, very brief overview that how to join this um, this small fragment, this small two fragments. And that was there are two processes that you can join this fragment A and fragment B, and that must contain the flanking region or the complement region. And there are two processes you can join this fragment A and fragment B. There is the one is the overlap PCR, and another one is the ligase enzyme. So in this tutorial video, I'll discuss about the overlap PCR, how to join these two part so let's move on to the tutorial part and stay tuned till end of this video so for that the step one there are two steps to perform the overlap PCR so in the so in the by this kind of process that uh, the two pri two primer and you can amplify this fragment A and fragment B. So right now we already have the fragment A and fragment B. So next process is so next process is the fragment A and fragment B. These two uh, these two PCR product you have, and uh, my suggestion when you perform the previous PCR, the PCR for the amplification of the fragment A and fragment B in that process. You have to you, you have to make hundred microliter, so the reaction should be hundred microliter. Then you will get higher concentration of the PCR product. Otherwise, if the concentration is very low, then it might influence your the further process, the further experiment. So I assume that you already have the PCR product hundred microliter each of the fragment A and fragment B, and after that you have to run the DNA agarose gel so individually so this is an around 15 to 20 microliter PCR product along with the dye you can around uh, 15 to 20 microliter you can load in each oil so after that you have to you have to cut this uh, so you can understand that what the size of this fragment A and fragment B individually. So accordingly, you can check the the purification and the right size of this DNA fragment. And you have to cut the right part of this DNA, right? The DNA gel you have to cut under UV, and you have to collect this fragment of the all of the DNA gel into one one five ml. 1 5 ml tube so when you cut it and this all of the all of the pieces of this DNA gel you have to collect in 1 5 ml tube and then then there are one agarose gel DNA extraction kit that is available in the market so you can use this um, agarose gel DNA extraction kit for uh, for extract DNA from the agarose gel so next you can you can use this this agarose gel DNA extraction kit for extraction of the DNA. So when you extract the DNA, so after that you have to quantify or the measure the concentration of the DNA fragment, DNA fragment A and DNA fragment P. So right now you already have you already extracted. If I assume that you already extracted the DNA fragment A and DNA fragment P, so then you have to measure the concentration and then you can perform the overlap PCR so now you have everything the template and 
the the other reagents you have so you have to perform the overlap PCR so you can consider this fragment A and fragment B as a template so before overlapping PCR before performing the overlapping PCR you have to mix this fragment A and fragment B but keep in mind very important point that each fragment concentration no less than 50 nanogram so minimum 50 nanogram of the concentration of the each fragment you have to maintain otherwise it might not it might influence your um, your overlap PCR it might not join these two part if it is very low concentration so now you can you can perform the um, overlap PCR and now I can show you that which primer you should you should use so previously I already showed that this primer 1F and primer 2R in this part so you have to use these two primer primer 1F and primer 2R to, to perform this overlap PCR so you have the primer 1F and primer 2R and you have the template that fragment A and fragment B that you extracted from the DNA gel so this and you can mix together fragment A and fragment B so that will that will you can consider your template so by this way you can um, you can uh, perform the overlap PCR that is the normal process you can the parameter you can follow the normal normal overlap PCR so this is one process and uh, in my next video I'll discuss about the uh, another process that is the DNA ligase how to use the DNA ligase to join these two different fragment so that's it guys if you have any queries about this uh, overlap PCR you can uh, write in the comment box I hope you understand and this is very easy but complicated process so, uh, if you like this video kindly like hit the like button and share it and uh, subscribe my channel thanks guys